All right, looks like we have Hawaii Five O. Hawaii Five O is pretty much the same as Edgar. He's slow, but he's even tougher than Edgar. So you do not want him to hit you. But he's kind of right where we need to go. So let's take him out. Right in your big belly. Welcome everybody to a new series here on 7 Days to Die on version 1.1 build 4. I am the Bearded OG and I have been playing this game on multiplayer pretty much since it came out in 1.0. If you're interested, uh, you can see that on the channel too. I've got a playlist for it, but uh, that's just more, you know, kind of VOD style. It's, it's uncurated. It's not really a let's play. It's just... Uh, me and my friends playing the game and having fun. Uh, so this is going to be a true let's play. It's going to be single player and uh, looking forward to, to doing this. Uh, all right, so um, let's go ahead and do our game settings here. Uh, so as usual, I'm going to play this game on insane difficulty as I typically will do. I've changed the, the days to 90 minutes. I like a little bit longer days. On the basic tab, uh, we'll do horde every seven days as usual. No changes to the range. Uh, we're going to set the horde to 32 enemies, uh, just so things don't get too intense in terms of frame rate. Uh, all of the zombie speeds are set to nightmare, no matter what time of day it is. And feral sense will be on at night, making them even more dangerous at nighttime. We'll keep the airdrops every seven days, but I do not play with airdrop markers on, uh, so that way I have to have to actually search for the drop like you used to have to in the old olden days of this game. All right, uh, the game name's gonna be Insane 1.0. The world generation seed is 1967. And let's go into the advanced generation. And I want lots of towns. I want, want lots of wilderness POIs. Uh, the assumption there is that we're playing, you know, in and around uh, a, a city in a suburban area. Uh, let's do many rivers. I don't like craters and cracks, but we'll have a few on the map. Uh, lakes, yeah, let's, let's do many lakes too. I like lots of water. As far as plains, hills, and mountains, I, I prefer a mountainous map. Just, I don't know, I just like the really high mountains in this game, even though it is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so we'll, let's do mostly mountains and plains with not a lot of hills, uh, maybe 10% hills. Uh, let's do center wasteland. We'll keep the wasteland in the center, but I'd like, I want the wasteland to be fairly small. Maybe we'll, we'll set that to 14%. I'd like more desert. Um, and less burnt forest and snows can be about 25% maybe we'll do pine forest at about 18% that's pretty good uh, but yeah because uh, we will probably uh, I mean it depends upon the layout of the map but uh, we may end up actually living in the desert I'd like to kind of do a desert oriented playthrough here okay um, let's set this on highest and we'll generate the world to bring you back when the world is ready to go Actually, while we're waiting for this to generate, uh, just a couple things. Um, I've been playing Seven Days to Die since Alpha 8, Alpha 8 or Alpha 9, so many, many years. And I've been playing it on insane nightmare speeds since Alpha 16. Um, and I pretty much just enjoy the challenge that that brings to the game. Um, you know, and so that's pretty much all I play on, on single player. And, you know, some people have opinions on how you should play the game on insane difficulty, you know, um, and, and my philosophy is this, the right way to play the game is the way that a player wants to play the game. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if, if you leave comments and you say you should have done this or you should have done that or you should be doing this, well, you know, that's subjective, right? So what I should do is play the game the way that I enjoy it the most. And, you know, so just kind of keep that in mind if you be you know are so inclined to leave such a comment okay uh, we're here to have fun have a good time we're not here to be perfect just enjoy the game uh, incidentally this is also not a permadeath series so uh, permadeath is irrelevant unless the game is advertised as permadeath so sometimes there's an expectation the viewers have that if you're going to play on insane it's also permadeath but that is not the case 
Uh, we will be dying probably multiple times. And uh, yeah, so that's th that's the deal. All right, let's take a look at this map as it's being generated here. So it looks like we have two huge cities in the wasteland. A couple of small towns here in the forest. A couple of small towns in the, well, reasonably decent sized towns in the snow. But we got a couple of, of pretty good sized towns here in the desert too. So, so that's going to be... That should be good. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and jump into this game and have some fun. All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, all right, so let's see. We're gonna put the, the bandages there. We'll put the food there, this there. That can go there. Uh, the note is, yeah, this is the same note as it's always been. So let's just scrap that for a piece of paper for the moment. And so they've changed things a bit in the game to where uh, what we do now is we have challenges um, that we can do. And when we finish those challenges, we get uh, XP as rewards, which is really nice. So uh, it wants us to start by opening that. I want to stay near this gut pile, though, because we want to get the bones out of it here in a little bit. Uh, so let's open up the challenges window here. And so basically we have a, a a basics page and an advanced page. And so it wants us to redeem this first challenge, which starts off this row of challenges. And this is basically going to be like our, uh, our tutorial. So let's redeem that. And then now what it wants us to do is it wants us to uh, gather plant fibers, wood, and stone. On stone, if you punch the stone, you actually get a little bit of XP for it. If you pick it up, you don't. So if I punch it, see it gave me a little XP there in the uh, the lower right-hand corner. So if you're wondering why I'm punching stone, it's because of that and because I also don't give a shit about my knuckles either. All right, good. Now it wants us to craft a stone axe. Let's do that next. And that little uh, yellow or, or trophy me means that it, that's part of an achievement. All right, let's put the axe in the number one slot for the moment. And now it wants us to harvest some wood. Let's, before I forget though, I want to get the bones from that. We're going to need a total of five bones though, because I'm going to want to make a bone knife. So yeah, we're going to need to find one more gut pile. Let's uh, also hit the stump and see if we can luck out and get a honey. That would be amazing. No, honey. Okay. So what do we need to do? Gather more stones. Let's see if we can find a boulder because we're going to need a lot more stones than just what this tutorial wants us to do. And we'll also hit these other stumps too because we need the wood and we have a chance of getting the honey. If any of you watching are new to Seven Days to Die, you can get infected in this game and honey will remove the infection just like it does in real life. All right, no money there. Let's get some stone, and that's a nitrate, but we don't need that now. Here is a boulder over here. Oh, look at that. Uh, we're, we're on the very edge of the map. Let's see. It looks like, yeah, it looks like we're on the eastern uh, border of the map, so that's that's very interesting. Okay, of course, that's where the, uh, the forest biome was in the map preview, so I guess that does make sense. Okay, that takes care of that boulder. Uh, oh, no, that's garbage. We'll probably end up selling that stuff. We may hang on to the pipes, but we don't need the light for now. Okay, um, it wants us to craft primitive armor. I want to actually pick up a few more plant fibers because we're going to cra craft the main armor, but we're also going to craft the, the gloves and the hat and the shoes and all that stuff too. Let's go into crafting here and remove that. We'll craft the primitive outfit. We will wear the primitive outfit. We will craft the wooden club. And we'll put that down here for the moment. We'll craft a bow. That will go in slot two. I always keep my, my archery weapon in slot two in this game. And we'll craft a few arrows. I also want to take and put these stones down on the toolbar so we can use them to distract Zeke's. We don't need chrysanthemum right now. Um, we don't need rotting flesh. We don't need nitrate. And honestly, yeah, we don't need paper right now either. We will need that stuff later. This, I think we will hang on to. 
Um, yeah, I think we will hang on to that at least for the moment. Now, let's see if we can also craft um, gloves, hood, and shoes. Give us a little bit of extra protection there. Very good. Okay, let's open up our challenges and redeem all this stuff. So you can press the W key to redeem. There we go. And that basically finishes the tutorial quest. What it has also done is it has given us four points that we can spend. Because we are playing on Insane Nightmare, um, we are going to take points that are going to help us survive in the early game. Um, so let's go take From the Shadows, because this is going to allow us to be 13% more effectively at hiding. Uh, act uh, noise from actions are 10% less. Sneak movement is 10% faster. Enemies will search, us, uh, search for us up to 10 seconds um, or up to 50 seconds instead of 60. So we're going to take that. We're also going to take deep cuts because we're going to rely upon bleeds from knives to help us survive in the early game. Okay, so you can uh, read the screen up there, but basically 10% more damage. Uh, inflict up to three bleeding wounds or two with power attacks. And also enemies will be slowed down by 10%, which is going to be very important because, again, we're playing on nightmare speed here. Now, we're also going to go over to Strength. We're going to put a point into Skull Crusher because um, the Sledgehammer is probably going to be my main melee weapon. It's my favorite melee weapon in this game. Of course, the Stump Baton is pretty fun, too, but we're going to go with this. The other thing this will do is it'll allow us to make a, a stone sledge that we can use to knock zombies down um, and get away from them. And then the last one we're going to do is Master Chef because I want to get uh, you know, the ability to you know make the important food clean water, you know, red tea, bacon and eggs, that sort of thing as quickly as possible. So that will help us do that. Very good. That uh, then takes care of our first four skill points. And now we need to work our way over to the trader, which is this direction. And um, as we get out of this starter area here, we're going to start to see zombies spawn in. And general, the name of the game, especially depending upon what zombie it is, uh, we are going to try and avoid them. We're going to try and distract them, you know, with rocks. Some zombies I'll take on right away. Um, others we want to avoid like the plague. Um, no pun intended. Because um, they're just, you know, they're really tough, really fast. And um, the chances of, a, of us surviving an encounter with, say, a nightmare speed biker are almost zero. <laughs> so, you know, we want to... We want to be judicious about which zombies we deliberately take on. All right, we'll take that stuff. Oh, we do need to find one more gut pile too, right, um, for that extra bone. So let's get back out to the road, and hopefully we'll be able to find another one to help us with it. I'm also going to cut down another tree just for a little extra wood here. Let's make our stone sledgehammer and we will be, we don't even, I'm not even going to use the club. Just not a fan of the club in this game. We have to be really careful though about uh, using the stone sledgehammer uh, just because, uh, you know, of its stamina usage. All right. Let's grab this bird's nest here. Not see. Oh, there's a gut pile down there. Okay, good. And that's on the way to the trader. Let's check this vehicle here. But uh, we should start seeing Zeke's here pretty quick because we're getting out of the starter area. I'll see if I can sell that gasoline to the trader. This isn't doing us any good right now. We will accumulate that later on for stuff that we need to make, but not right now. That will just sell to the trader, the spare parts. Okay, let's get down to this gut pile and get a knife going. Okay, we'll put the knife in slot number three. We also need to load our bow too, by the way. Let's do that.
All right, we are at Trader Wrecked. Wrecked is the forest trader, so we have to start with him whether we like it or not. So let's go in here and loot his stuff to sell to him. Nice, forge head and 13 iron arrows. That's good. Okay, we'll take that. Got some zombs, but they can't hurt us outside. Some seeds. Water and cornmeal. Let's see what's in the chem bench. Another forge ahead. Some oil shale and some cornmeal. I don't think there's anything in this uh, shed here. Let's check this trash. More oil shale. Uh, there's nothing in here, right? Nope. Let's check the cabins. Got some food. That's good. And our first food magazine. Really good. Guess that's all that's in here. Nightstand with some armor parts. Steel armor parts. And I think that's it for looting out here. There's one or two things, <coughs> excuse me, inside that we can loot. We have to go up here. Sorry about the darkness. It's uh, it's going to be dark in this game until I can get a helmet light. Um, I'll try and add some gamma in editing. But, uh, you know, just bear with me until we get the helmet light. And we are going to get the helmet light legit. I'm not going to, like, spawn it in. So it's just the way it goes. Is there anything in here? That just leads out to that room there. Don't think these shelves are lootable. That desk is not lootable. That is, though. Okay, let's talk to Dickweed here. And we'll sell him everything that we can to make a little bit of coin. Holy shit. We'll take the I shovel. Thought you were a zombie. Flash some cash or get lost. Okay, so we're going to sell that and that. He doesn't want that, so we're to tossing it. You got to be the dumbest son of a bitch I've ever seen. <laughs> Can't you see we're overstocked on those? He doesn't want that. I'm going to hang on to the nails, and I want to hang on to the seeds. You can shove that right up um, your ass. I don't think I'm going to hang on to the sandwiches. I know you can use them in a pinch for food, but... Mm, let's yeah let's sell the cornmeal let's definitely sell the oil shale and the plastic we just don't need that stuff right now sell as many of those as he'll buy that that oh you know what I should have hang on hung on to that leather but whatever he doesn't want soil yeah we're gonna get rid of that does he want this cloth nope recog that I'm gonna uh, range damage 50% but it also takes 30 of our water away, so I think we're going to sell that, too. It's just, you know, a matter of prioritize, prioritizing. <clears throat> Alright, now, he will have... Um, he will have the cooking pot. I think all the traders just stock that now. Oh, does he? Hold on. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. So, if we don't find a cooking pot, then, you know, we need to save up our coin... And we're already halfway there to, to just buy it because we're, we're really going to need that ASAP. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. Don't eat yellow snow. There's your tip. Okay. Uh, special jobs. Oh, buried supplies. Okay. Uh, we'll take it, but been an honor the thing about buried you, supplies but it would be a lie. on insane difficulty is they're really dangerous because... They spawn a you know a group of Zeeks in and they're all running at nightmare speed. So we're gonna have to excuse me, we're gonna have to think about that one. All right, let's see if we can get out of here and start working our way towards wherever we're gonna have our first base. So it looks like there's a town over this way, and uh, we just need to be super careful now because the Zeeks are around. Okay, there's an Edgar. The nice thing about Edgar is he is. He's pretty slow. You just don't want him to hit you, though, because, man, he hits like a Mack truck. I think Darlene just jumped down into the ditch over here. 
she I don't think she's too terribly dangerous. Um, I mean, she is dangerous, but I don't think she's like super fast. She used to be, but I think they slowed her down a little bit. There is some loot on here, but I think there's also a bunch of crawlers. So we don't want, uh, you know what? Let's, let's deal with Edgar first because I don't want to be running away from her and then run into him. So here's how this is going to go. We're going to soften him up with an arrow. Then we're going to knock him on his ass. Okay, try that again. Okay, then we're going to apply a bunch of bleeds on him and then run away. When we get at range, we'll arrow him again. And then kind of wash, rinse, repeat until he's down. Make sure we have good stamina. Oh shit, that wasn't good. All right, he's down. Yeah, so as long as he doesn't tag you, he's pretty easy to kill, actually. He's kind of tough, though. Let's see if we can make some more arrows. Um, actually, yeah, let's make iron arrows. Why not? And then we'll make also some stone arrows, too. Let's equip the... or load, rather, the iron arrows. Okay, so we took care of Edgar. Let's take care of Darlene next. And then we'll deal with all the Zeeks, uh, all the crawlers in that trailer, because there's some stuff there that we can loot. Oh, did I just hear other footsteps? Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we have full stamina here. In this game, if you hold down your sights, it drains stamina, which makes sense. Okay. Soften her up. Knock her down. Knock her down. Knock her down, please. There we go. Bleeds. And run away. Oh, she did. Okay. So far, so good. Now, uh, I think I believe there's a bunch of crawlers on here. I think, yeah, there are. So killing them will give us more XP. And as long as we don't let them tag us, we should be fine. I don't have a ton of arrows, so I'm going to try and uh, bleed them out. Right. Let's whack him with this. Okay. He's down. And then we'll also hit you, too. Oh, shit. We got another Zom walking around the corner. Okay. So I guess we didn't kill that one guy. We don't want these guys to tag us because they can break or sprain our leg. And they can also infect us, too. Okay. He's dead. You can see how tough they are on Insane, though. It's crazy. Just trying to get those bleeds on him. Okay, let's see if we can whack him with this. Alright, this is Bo. Bo is a, a bit more dangerous. Um, just because he's tough and he's fast. So I think I think we're gonna try and make him bugger off. I'd rather not mess with him if we don't have to. Bo. Okay, he's he's doing brain worms. Alright, how many arrows do I have? Got that many. I suppose we could try and kill him through the fence. All right. Let's let Edgar in here so we can deal with him first. We need to get a, a little bit of stamina back. Okay, well, that's one way to deal with him. 
There we go. Okay. We'll at least soften Bo up. Because, like I said, he's a little more dangerous. Oh, shit. Aim for center of mass. Can't afford to waste the arrows here. Got him. All right. Get as many of our arrows back as we can. And now let's go back and finish looting this trailer here. And then we need to start thinking seriously about where we're going to hole up for the night. We've got two more crawly crawls. Get their attention. my arrow back okay we got three bleeds on him and three bleeds on him he did and it's a done deal okay There is another crawler. Let's loot this. Potato. Okay. All right, let's see if we can loot this. Oh, there's a duffel bag there, too. Okay, good. Nice. Always got to be aware of our surroundings here. Oh, those will come in handy. Pain pills. Let's kill this dude for the XP. And he's down. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here we're interested in. I mean, we could salvage the plastic. Well, actually, let's do that and sell it, now that I think about it. This will probably work better. Yuck. Can you imagine how bad that would smell if this was real life? <laughs> Harvest rotting flesh challenge is complete. All right. Let's go sell whatever we can to Recti Poo. You better buy something. Or, well, look who decided to show their right. face again. He doesn't want that. He'll buy those. He bought some of those. He bought some of those. I don't think he's going to want clay. Um, Be careful out let's there. repair this get hurt. and then see if he'll buy you these bones. Something. No, he doesn't want them. All right, I'll hang on to the bones because we can use them to make glue and other things. Will you buy these nails? I think... Well, how about you browse your ass right out of my store? Do we need nails to make storage? We don't. Okay, I'm probably thinking of one of the mods like... Undead Legacy. Do we need nails to make the forge? Uh, oh, it doesn't tell us what we need for that. We need it for we need these for something. I think it might be the forge, so I think I am going to hang on to those. Okay, now we need to get to the business of finding uh, our starter base, and I also need to make some. Whoops some frames we need to get these going too uh, let's just make say 20 of those for now and we'll put those down here we also have um, some stuff here to redeem so craft building blocks advanced survival kill zombies read a magazine meet wrecked sell items harvest rotting flesh Okay, look at that. We're almost up to our next point. That's awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's top this off, too. And what the hell? We'll top this off. We'll hit this vehicle up on the road here as we head into town. And we just need to be cautious. 
Let's repair our axe as well. Um, I don't want to go over to that camp. There's probably going to be some military dudes there. All right, looks like we have Hawaii 5 -0. Hawaii 5 -0 is pretty much the same as Edgar. He's slow, but he's even tougher than Edgar. So you do not want him to hit you. But he's kind of right where we need to go. So let's take him out. Right in your big belly. All right, it might take a couple swings to knock him out. We'll see. Or knock him down, I mean. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, we got to mine stamina. We got to get him on the ground first. I don't want to take a chance of him tagging us. Watching stamina. Oh, well, that works too. And we got our next level. Okay, let's just, um... Actually, you know what I'm going to do with that next level, I think, is... We got Bo over there. I'm more afraid of Bo than Hawaii 5 -0 just because he's fast. Uh, what am I doing? We're going here. Uh, I want to take 69er so we can break blocks easier. So that's our next point we're going to do. Now I want to I want him to get out of here. Oh, is he stuck on barbed wire? Shit. That's not what I meant to do. I'm pulling him towards me. <laughs> if he was stuck on barbed wire, then that would soften him up. But again, let's just avoid him. Okay, we have Arlene here. Arlene is not too terribly tough, but she's really fast. All right, we got her. Yeah, she's dangerous just because of her speed more than anything. This is the the Fates Hotel. We're not going anywhere near that place right now. Look how many skulls it has. Like four. <laughs> In the upper right-hand corner, it shows that. For any who may not know. Here, let's stay crouched. Since I can't tell what's on the other side of these trees here. I don't want to get super far away from the trader, so we need to choose a place that's pretty close by. Uh, that's another bow. Bow, you're being a pain in my ass, dude. Bugger off. Okay, let's go this way. We could... Uh, we could perch on top of the, the diner. Okay, this is not the best situation because we got Psalms over there and Arlene right here. She did. Okay, I think this probably this diner is our our best bet just because it's right here. It shouldn't be too terribly hard to secure. Um, and I'm talking about the roof. We might run into a vulture up there, but I think it's a good starting place for us. 
So let's go ahead and pull up. But be ready in case there is a buzzard up here. Or another zombie for that matter. Yep, there's a buzzard right there. Got him. Uh, is that a corpse? Or a bow? I can't tell. Well, regardless, he's got to go. Um, if we need to barrel off this roof, I don't want that Darlene chasing us. So let's get her a little further away. No, go the other way, darling. Okay, let's drop that down a little bit so we can jump down. See, these guys are down here too. We gotta really be careful here. Okay, I... I can't tell. I think that Zombo is a real, actual Zombo. Yep. Okay. Oh, he's the janitor. Okay, he's... He's not as bad as, like, a bow would be. Oh, fuck. He tagged us. Not good. Okay. Oh, is he dead? Okay. Yeah, that was... That was a little risky, but we had to do it. Not hurt too bad. In fact, what we'll do is let's eat some food because we need to do that anyway. And that will also give us some health back. Let's eat the cat food too. We'll take one drink of water. Get our arrows back from the buzzard. Got some medical stuff there. Okay, we're going to have to secure this ladder. In fact, we probably should do that first before we do anything else. Um, anybody out there? There's a Darlene way out there. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's get her a little further away. Oh! This ladder is already... It's already secure. Okay, good. Zeke's can't get up on there. Let's check this stuff real quick. You know what we need to do at now, actually, though, is get a bed roll down. So let's do that next. Do I have enough? Yeah, that'll set our spawn point. What's this? A weapons bag. Oh, nice. Look at that. We will apply this. See, ergonomic grip. What does that do? Stamina use. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's going to go right on our sledgehammer. That was just about the best mod we could have found for this, other than the, you know, the knockdown one. Okay, let's set our bedroll, and now we have a spawn point. Let's make ourselves some storage so we can drop a few things off. Maybe a couple of those for starters. All right, and we will set those here. Let's get rid of you. And we'll loot this stuff. There's a lot of zombos down there. Oh, good. More food. Very good. That's going to come in handy. Let's read the first medical journal. And I want you to go away. 
I want you guys to go away. The rocks don't always distract them. It's kind of an RNG thing. Come on, Pete. Okay, maybe we can send him down this way. <laughs> he just doesn't give a shit. Okay. We'll loot this. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap up the first episode here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just spend a little bit of off-camera time for the rest of today. Um, gathering resources, wood, stone, you know, the usual. And then we will start the next episode at the beginning of day two, the morning of day two. And we'll figure out what our next move is from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.